Hi everyone, Dr. Nimichek here. I want to talk about autonomic dysfunction in autism. Uh, I've been criticized over the years uh, by people saying there's no such thing as autonomic dysfunction in autism. All I can say to that is there's almost 500 peer-reviewed papers on the topic. Uh, a lot of these I can understand maybe these people who criticize me can't understand them because they're about sympatho, sympatho excitation in uh, social settings or heart rate variability uh, fluctuations when there are temperature regulation issues and stuff like that. Okay, But there's a very nice paper a couple years ago that um, gave us some very particular diagnoses that people can appreciate. So they took 28 kids. These are basically teenagers to 20 year olds. Now the reason why they don't have under, you know, kids younger than teenagers is um, the kids can't really cooperate with all the testing. And so it's just difficult to do. There aren't really normals as well, you know, the standards, but trust me, the way these kids act, they have these same problems. All right. Now, so out of the 28 kids they tested, 20 had autonomic dysfunction. All right. Nine had what's called POTS, postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome. This is where a blood pressure regulation problem, when you're upright, you can't get enough blood pressure to your head. And instead of, say, somebody's heart rate going from a resting of 65 to 90 to compensate, people will have their heart rate go up to 130 or 140. That's what we, so it's POTS is a twofold thing, low pressure of the brain and an abnormal heart response. So um, uh, a third, over a third of them had POTS. Four others had POTS and vasovagal syncope. Now vasovagal syncope is the most common form of passing out. Now that isn't a frequent issue here in the office when we're talking with parents, um, but it's the kind of thing, get your blood drawn, get frightened, you know, oh, pass out. That's vasovagal syncope, it's not normal. Um, three had what is called the presyncope, that's like, oh, I'm almost passing out. Oh, I'm almost, every time you get up, I feel like I'm about to pass out. Others have uh, essential hyperhidrosis, so that means they're just sweating all the time. They can't regulate correctly. Um, and uh, one had orthostatic hypotension, so again, that's kind of a low blood pressure, tired all the time. You know, instead of sitting or standing and your blood pressure is 120 over something, it's 90 over something, okay? And uh, then a couple had vasovagal alone, one had a combination of POTS, vasovagal, and the sweating problem. And uh, so a whole bunch of autonomic dysfunction of stuff that happens it's well diagnosed, you go to some autonomic center and they can diagnose it, okay? Do you need to take your child with autism there to get diagnosed? No. I just want you to know this is part of the symptoms, okay? This is part of agitation, of being hyper, of craving salt and sugar, of not being able to focus, having headaches. It's part of all of that. You know, the aggressive outbursts, okay? And... Uh, And in particular, there was a, uh, a strong association in all of these where these kids basically just had low blood pressure, which is what I've been saying for years. So anyhow, it's a real thing. I'll put the paper in the uh, comment section below. And uh, just remember, the Nimichek protocol was originally designed um, and uh, for adults with autonomic dysfunction. And when we lower inflammation in those adults, we get improvement of the autonomic nervous system and things get better. I, it works just as well uh, in the kids for these problems as it does in adults. So everybody have a great day. Take care.